Okay, everyone. Hello again. This is Bam Bam Adventures, your host. And uh, I just wanted to give you some updates about where we're at with uh, getting ready for our um, launch of the um, detecting. I got the uh, first uh, MyLab Equinox 800 assembled today. It didn't take more than, you know, 30 minutes max to get everything set up. Um, the instructions are not very good at all. It's just like half a page of instructions and not very good at all. Um, and uh, as far as, uh, like, you know, there's just no information here on how to get your... Um, Bluetooth headphone set up with it when you get it together. Um, it comes with this, you know, these two pieces, but again, it does not say, you know, what those extra pieces are for. You are left to basically make your own um, assumptions, which again, I don't like to do that. This right here is just, you know, going over the display. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get to that in my next step, but for just the assembly and getting it going, it really doesn't, um, in my opinion, it falls really short of, you know, really good instructions and what is, uh, you know, where everything goes um, and so on and so forth and all these different pieces, you know, what they're for. Then um, with the Bluetooth, you know, it does come um, in a separate box and these are the instructions. I, um, there is absolutely no charger. Everything comes with just the USB port like that or on the headphones, that's the, you know, USB port and you are left to use your own charger. And then they send you this, you know, sheet where it tells you, you know, you can use a high quality 2A charger or, you know, buy an extra MindLab USB charger, which is in function and quality is really the same. Because as you can see here, it says the result of a full charge of less than four hours. And it is identical as far as the minimum capacity, you know, of the um, charger. So most of us who have these chargers would need to buy these unless we wanted to have one of these for our car. And most of us, again, would probably have something like that or similar to that in our vehicles that we could use if necessary. Um, when we are en route, if we wanted to charge our unit. But that's not the case right now. You know, in my situation, I'm not en route. I'm at home just getting that set up for the first use. And then they give you this laptop standard USB 2.0 port. And I went ahead and used it. Uh, tried to get this thing to work because it gives mm, us a, a full charge time of approximately 18 hours. And obviously that's what I would like to have. Um, I think most people would opt for that. And this is uh, one of my laptops. It's a Toshiba with a big brick. Um, it has a, you know, 18 inch um, monitor, big thing, heavy. And this is my other laptop. It's a Lenovo Yoga, <coughs> excuse me, I think 700, yeah, Yoga 700. Anyways, I tried it with both of these. On the USB port for both of these, I used this charger, which is the same exact, you know, um, specifications as the regular iPhone charger. I plug this in, you know, the USB port for the charger on the MindLab um, Equinox 800 into this and I got nothing on the little um, 
light that goes on when it's charging. So I switched it out and I used it on this one and used it on every single one of these uh, 2.0 USB ports that I have on this one. And again, I got nothing. So um, I, you know, ran to my lap, my uh, desktop and it worked there. So I'll go over there and show it to you. Then um, I got my MindLab um, headphones set up. Um, basically, you know, to charge there. And again, it says that when it is fully charged, it will basically, you know, this light is supposedly goes away. Um, but neither these instructions on the um, detector, nor the instructions on the Bluetooth headphone, my lap, actually tell you how many hours you are supposed to, you know, charge these two units to get the maximum charge, give or take. So basically, you are left to your own devices um, to guess. If you wanted to plan, uh, you know, a day, maybe, um, you know, you want to do this in the afternoon of a day, you can't get up that morning and get this all set up so that you can go out in the afternoon. I think most likely you should be planning on getting everything or equipment set up um, a day ahead to give it a good 24 hours for everything to charge fully before you can head out. So that's a big bummer because I did make my plans. Again, you know, I thought that I'll wake up in the morning, I'll get everything set up, and in four to five hours, everything is going to be fully charged, and that is not the case. So. Anyways, just that's one tip and pointer um, for everyone, you know, wanting to go this route with MindLab. Um, I also got the Profine MindLab 35. That one is a very, very easy setup. As you can see, it comes with its own little halter. And that you can put on your belt or you know maybe on anything else that has a little strap. It does have a little hand, you know, strap which is good. Then, you know, this part of it opens and you get an 8 volt no, excuse me, 9 volt PP3 battery and that goes in back here. You tighten it and it is ready to go and I tried it you know you can it vibrates you can plus or minus it and you know you know remove it and it goes all right so now let me um, take you to the detector and give you a couple of pointers then I'll come back and talk to you about this um, Raptor handle, okay?